everyone, welcome to Tucky Time Toys. My name is Tucky and today is a really great day because we are going to be reviewing Miss Costume Ball Violet Willow. Violet is dressed as a kitty cat in the Rainbow Vision Costume Ball competition and we're going to take a look at her and give her a review and see if we think she's going to win or not. I've got to say this is an interesting series of numbers here. First off, this is the fourth Violet Willow in the Rainbow High Line. This is the first Violet Willow that I have ever owned or held or anything. And the final number is 10 because this is the 10th toy review video that I have done. So exciting, so exciting. All right, so what we are going to do now is we're going to go back in time to when I first opened her up out of the box and took a look at her. But for that, I've got to say, this video is for adults, for grownups only. If you're a kid, you have to go watch something else. I suggest you watch the regular Rainbow High Show because it's a lot of fun, but if you are a grown up, you have to stick around because we are going to open her up and we are going to have so much fun. Let's get started. Woo! <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. Here she is in box. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know where to start. Anyway, like these costume ball dolls have the best cover art, as you can see. <gasps> How cute is that? How cute is that? Okay, so it says, meet her in Rainbow Vision, which is like a music contest, but this is the costume ball part of the contest. I don't know what's going on with that, but I don't care because I like the dolls. I think they're pretty. Let's open her up. Oh, I'll show you the back first. It says Rainbow High Costume Ball, and here's the Rainbow High team. So we have Bella the Witch, Robin the Spider, and Violet as Catwoman. And uh, let's see, it says a special edition, because they're all special editions these days. And then we've got to open her up with the Velcro. Let's do it, one, two, three. Ooh, that was a good rip. All right, and then it has the little description of what she's up to inside. It says, Violet Willow is no stranger to juicy gossip. It's like her catnip. She just can't stay away. She's sure her next big story will come from the Rainbow Vision costume ball. And then we have like some like 70s style lights hanging down. Like everything is holographic and iridescent and it's really super, super beautiful. Anyway, can't wait to get her out of this box. So that is what we are about to do. Here she is, the fourth Violet Willow. My first Violet Willow, but here is the fourth one. Now, a lot of people think it's funny. There have been four of this doll because she hasn't exactly been popular. Sorry, that's just the truth. So the first one, um, nobody liked her because of many reasons, but one is that she had bangs. The second one was Junior High Violet Willow, and again, there were bangs. And then, then there was Winter Break Violet Willow, and... A lot of people loved her and I think she's really pretty, but um, this one I'm kind of hoping is the one that everybody likes. I know I will like it. I mean, maybe if I, if I take it off, I'm pretty sure I like her already. I mean, just looking at her. Yeah. I mean, already looking at her, she's a win. I just, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm going to go ahead and do the review, but I like her. That's, that's all I, I can say. I like her. I dig her. She's cool. Like I don't, like when I do these, I don't look at like, like I literally just took her out of the box and I put her on the stand and then well, I moved her around a little bit because I didn't like the box pose she was in. But like, literally, I'm looking at her for the first time right now. And so I'm like, yeah, I dig her. Okay, I guess we'll start from the top and see what's going on. I'm going to take her off the stand. And, um, all right, hair, 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 hair. Okay, so in like the pictures, it has her ponytail falling down her back and then like spread out down the back. But the way she came in the box, like there was no way that hair was going to go straight back. This is totally a side pony. If you're not going to change it, it will remain a side pony forever. But you know what? I dig that. I kind of like it. It's different. I like, I like the ponytails on the dolls too. And the hair. Okay. I did check out the hair before I started the video because I want to make sure I said the right colors because there are lights in here and I want to make sure I said the right thing. So there's definitely purple and then like a pinkish purple and then there's a little bit of silver like it's highlighted through but hmm if you dig deeply enough you can find a straight up patch of well it's hard to see but there oh can you see it there yeah you can see it there there's a straight up patch of silver hair so that's pretty groovy and um okay the mask um i'm not gonna take it off yet i'm gonna wait um, until I go over her whole thing because look, I just don't know what's going on under the mask. And like, honestly, when this doll came out and people started reviewing it, nobody was taking the mask off. I thought it was like attached to her head, but it turns out it's not, it's loose. Ooh, 
I'm not gonna take it off yet. So like, honestly, I don't know what is going on under here. Um, I don't know if her eyebrows are even, I don't know, there could be, like I said, a giant red stain on her forehead. I would have no way of knowing. Hmm. Okay, eyes, let's just do eyes. Uh, they're super pretty. They, I mean, huh. it looks like it's blue right here and it looks like it's violet on top because she's violet get it and then well she's a cat so she has cat winged eyeliner going out really gorgeous um nice little pink lips here i like the shade a lot i, I can't tell what blush she has on but okay so shininess um the shininess level is good i was kind of worried <sighs> all these violet dolls have been so shiny like that's the thing i was like i want them to make a matte violet doll this this one she's definitely not matte like there's shininess you can see it but it's it's not as much as i thought it would be and i'm glad i don't i don't like shiny that's just me that's just my pre preference but um this is definitely i think the shiniest of the costume ball dolls in terms of the face so anyway let's just look look at the mask we'll not take it off um okay well well the whole costume is okay based on the Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman costume from the 1992 film Batman Returns, which was really badly reviewed at the time, but now people are like going back and saying it's a classic and nobody understood it, which often happens with movies. But in the movie, like Michelle Pfeiffer, before she becomes Catwoman, she like rips up all this fabric and ties it together and she stitches it together and it's all kind of haphazard and all over the place. And um, that's definitely what's going on here. So there are like stitches here. There are stitches on the dress, there are stitches on the boots, and they're all uneven. Uh, so nothing is um, bilater bilaterally symmetrical. Does that mean? Uh, okay, Not that none of it's symmetrical. Like the, the rips and tears are just all over the place. And um, so yeah, that's it's kind of an homage to that costume. Of course, her costume in the movie was black, but this is cool because it's a purple one. I, I like it a lot. It was a nice little, a nice little touch to classic films. Okay, <laughs> um, so yeah, the mask has, let's see, four rhinestones, it looks like, and then four over here, and it, yeah, they're like multicolored, and she has holes for earrings, but no earrings, which I'm, I'm kind of glad that wouldn't suit like a superhero cat, and um, let's see, okay, the mask ties on in the back with a bow, there's no peg, there are no zip tie things there are no plastic things it is like literally just tied with a bow so this will be interesting when it comes off all right she has a stole a fur stole wrapping around and the stole is tied down with with the plastic thingies to the dress um so it, it won't come off but i am going to cut them off i'm going to stop the camera and cut them off and then show you what she looks like without that when, it, when it's just like the basic dress and her without the mask and just what the basic look is without all the stuff jazzed up um so yeah the the fur it goes all the way around her neck and then goes all the way around and it is stuck on her <laughs> and it's stuck on her behind <laughs> and yeah that's about all you can say i mean i think it's lined yeah it's lined that's beautiful okay the dress is like a pleather and it it has this is cute touch has straps um but they're like really they're like sheer what do you call it it's like tool it's straps that are made out of tool and okay they kind of run over the front and become part of the dress and they're very very sheer i honestly didn't see them until i took her out of the box it's really beautiful and then you can see the straps coming around hello you can see the straps coming around in the back whole thing velcros together as one piece and the belt let me see let me see the belt Okay, the belt is attached in the back, but it's loose in the front. So you can't take the belt off, but at least it kind of moves around. And, you know, I might like this costume without the belt better because I'm not into the branding. And hmm, Would it look good without the belt? I don't know. I guess I could just cut it. Hmm. Couldn't put it back on, though. Oh, well. Okay. I cut one. Her art, Her hands out of the box are also tied down. Um, this one was super tied down, so I didn't cut it yet. This one, I, I kind of could break free. <laughs> kind of break free. She's still attached there, but let's see. Okay, we just have rhinestones all the, all the way down, a bunch of them. And then there's a little gap where there's a 
They're just sewing together. And then it looks like same deal. Rhinestones all the way. All the way down? Yep, all the way down. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, look at these nails. Hmm. Like I, like I said about the Bella doll, or no, I think Bella's were, no, Bella's were too much, but I said about the Eliza doll, like, at least you might see a human walking around like this and not think that human was insane. You would just be like, oh, those nails are a bit much, but whatever. Uh, uh, the gloves, God. Okay, so these are also pleather. I don't, like, I'm kind of scared to take them off because I don't know if I'll ever be able to get them back on. And they have three little rhinestones on them. Both of them. Does she have any rings? Well, if she has rings, we're never gonna know. Cause like I said, I'm like, I'm scared that if I take these off, because like the nails are gonna make it so hard to get back on. Huh. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see, won't we? Won't we? Okay, moving on down to her boots. They are fabric boots. Again, made out of pleather material. Getting into focus. Yeah, plate made out of pleather material and fabric and again it has that white stitching all over the place and it has the zipper is not real it has the zipper zip part and this is like totally fabric the zipper part so it is three-dimensional fabric but it definitely doesn't it's just fabric it doesn't chink down um it's just totally made out, made out of fabric and then we got our little boots here they're pretty basic on the bottom which i'm okay with they're just basic platform boots just like you'd get anywhere. I think that's it. Again, I love the asymmetry. Like it's kind of kicking up and showing on one side and then not so much on this. Well, maybe that is a little bit more. Can you see the difference there? Okay, on camera, it's looking extremely symmetrical, but in real life, it, it's very, very uneven. <laughs> is it time? Is it time to take the mask off? Let me turn my camera down a little bit. Okay, let's take the mask off. I'm so nervous. Just do it, all right? Just do it very slowly. I'm not gonna take it all the way off, just kind of peel. Okay, here we go. Oh! Okay! Let's see what we have. She looks good. Eyebrows? Eyebrows are normal. She has a huge forehead. That's okay. Uh, wow, that's... A Massive forehead. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, eyeliner, everything looks good. Eyebrows look good. Her face looks good. All right, I'm very happy about that. Okay, well, I guess um, we will... I'm gonna take off the first stole and I'm gonna untie her and I'm gonna take this mask all the way off. That is so cute though. I like her, huh? You're gonna have to leave a comment and tell me if you like it with her on or with it off, but... Okay, well, we're going to go change a little bit, change things up, and see you in a sec. I actually like her better like this. And honestly, I think she could be one of my favorite dolls. She is just gorgeous. Uh, I like her like this. The cat stuff is cute, but this is also fantastic. First off, let me address the shine issue. She does have a massive forehead, and I see now why they wanted to put bangs on this doll so much. It's because the forehead's big. She's not this shiny in real life. Look, there are lights on her. And if you watch other review videos, they also have lights on her. So, I mean, it's just the forehead's so big, it's just going bang with the with the light. And it's just really whew, shooting out. She does not look like in, this in real life. She does have like a dewy glow is what I would call it in real life. Dewiness, but not like this. Not like this. She looks, she looks gorgeous in real life. Oh, I, I love her. Um, Let's talk about, okay. A lot, some reviewers did not want to cut this off um, because they wanted to stay on her, but not to fear. She has little, there are little straps that go around her arms. So once you cut it off, you can put it back into place and it will stay exactly over her shoulders. So um, like the Aisha Sterling doll, she came with a stole, but it would just kind of slide and slip and, you know, you, you had to put it in place and then not move her and, you know, it just, it just was all over the place. But this one, because of these straps, it will stay exactly where it is supposed to be. So don't be afraid to cut this off. Um, yeah, gloves, big mistake to remove those because I don't see how these are ever getting back on her hands with those long fingernails. Um, I'll try. I'll try because I think the gloves might look cute just with this outfit alone. And, um, you know, here's her little mask. I thought it was cute to see it without it on her. It's kind of like, oh, 
Here's the inside of it. I don't know why you want to see that, but there it is. It's kind of cute. Oh, I like her better without it. And then she also comes with a stand, which you can see there. And then Rainbow High, you are invited with a QR code on the back. You scan that and it takes you to the costume ball episode. You can watch all that drama unfold. You know, she beats the vampire in that episode. Oh, spoiler. She beats the vampire in that episode and everybody was like, oh, that doesn't make sense. But um, yeah, she does beat the vampire. I don't care. I love this doll. Okay, here's the comb. I love that. I love that in the costume balls, like they don't match the doll exactly. That it's like a complementary color. Um, so yeah, it isn't purple, purple. It's like it's like magenta. And so here's the comb. It's fun, isn't it? Just a little bit of sparkle, which you can't see, but yeah. I really like this doll. I mean, super, super, super gorgeous. Um Oh my gosh, I'm just I'm just totally having a moment here. I, I love her so much. And uh, this, yeah, yeah, I don't know what to say. So anyway, um, let me kind of get her fixed up. I'll I'll go move my lights around and sit in front of the camera and uh, we'll talk some more. Okay, see you in a second. Love you, love you. Okay, so this is one of my favorite dolls ever. I don't know what to say. She's just great. I mean, I like her like this. I like her in the cat costume too. I like that that's an option, but I mean, this this is also great. She's just great as a doll. And, you know, it's costume ball. They only come with one outfit, but in her case, it's kind of like she comes with two outfits because there's like this, her hanging out being a normal gal. Okay, her dress and boots are kind of crazy, but you know, whatever. But then you can put the the stole on her and the gloves and the kitty cat face and that's another outfit so i mean as far as i'm concerned she has like well at least one and a half outfits but i i really i like i'm just staring at her like i'm not looking at the camera i'm staring at her over here because it's just like oh she's so pretty about the gloves i did um I did get them back on. It was actually not too difficult, but then I got them on and I realized I liked her better without them on, which is saying a lot because I like gloves. And so I guess what I want to get at is um, a lot of people were like, hey, well, they still are. They're hating on this doll because they're saying she's pretty basic. I know when like the the first images of her were released, like people were like laughing, like because her costume seemed really basic or whatever. But um, like, I don't know, I wanted her and I felt like there was something wrong with me that I wanted her that maybe I just wasn't sophisticated enough, but I think this is a good example. Oh, I like her ponytail too. I'm, I'm jumping all over the place, but I like that too. I like that it's lopsided. I mean, I don't want to fix it. I like her just the way she is, that she has this like hair flipped over her shoulder, you know, like I do my hair, like she has it like that. I like that. It's, I like that she's like that. I like her the way she is. And I just mean, don't let anyone ever tell you how to doll because you know I'm pretty new at this relatively and like I said I felt insecure like I just had bad taste or something but I really if something makes you happy it makes you happy and you know when I first saw her I just I wanted her so it was like I saw all six of them it was like I wanted Bella I wanted uh the fairy Eliza and I wanted her and I was like okay, am I, am I weird for like wanting her more than some of the others? And the answer is no, you just need to get the doll that you want and be happy with her. And like, this is a personal journey. Okay. People in this world can be a little bit <clears throat> catty. Let's just leave it at that. You can be a little bit catty. So it doesn't matter. Just ignore that. Just have fun, do your doll thing and be happy. I am happy with this one. I love her to bits. She's the best. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and please leave a comment. That helps the channel so much. If you don't know what to comment, just say uh, if you like her with the mask on or with the mask off, which way you like it better. So you can either put mask or no mask. That can be your entire comment. It just really helps the channel so much. And then if you're not subscribing, then what the heck are you doing? Hit that subscribe button and then hit the notification bell and you will never miss another fun video with me and the girly gags here. So thank you so much. She loves you and I love you. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>